with these prices, trust me, you're guaranteed to save some money in your pocket. So come on down and shop today at the brand new SNS Pasada Supermarket, St. Mary's Freeport. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, and roti makers. Try our high-quality, bromate-free, all-purpose, and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg, and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiquicho Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715. Or visit us at Warrenville Canupia, Chiquicho Limited. Quality you can trust. Introducing Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, berberine, bitter melon, and banana leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine Plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Thai Clinic has its big rim seal on. Get 20 to 50% off on the latest styles and sizes. We carry a variety of tires and tie equipments for agriculture and industrial needs at the best prices. Located at Kuva Shigonas and Pleasance Park, the Tire Clinic is tire for every need. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Prime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Already, I was set. Step into a world of opportunities at CTS College, where education is beyond academics. Winner of over 50 world prizes, as well as ACTT Student Service Award. It's a college of your choice for quality education, guaranteed to unlock your true potential. Internationally recognized degree programs. Choose a degree that is right for you. Come in for your free career guidance session and start your future today with CTS College. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, eight spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. 
Enhance your space with extreme home and tile supplying limited. Get porcelain and ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, face basins, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Corners or call 299-3271 for more info. Beat the heat at Kingo Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work, and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp, or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services, and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience, and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20 ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Not a sprint. It's a marathon, Jen. You know that. You got this. Nutrients for immune system support, heart health, and energy metabolism. But remember, you have more than regular energy. It's Jennifer Lopez energy. Or J-Lo energy. Seems forced. Jenny from the block energy. Overdone. Jenergy. Jenergy! Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Welcome to eFix Investments Limited, your one-stop destination for all your home essentials. Transform your bathroom with our exquisite range of showers, enclosures, luxury bathtubs, modern toilets, faucets, ceramic sinks, and vanities. Enhance your kitchen with our stainless steel sinks. Our extensive selection include bath, kitchen accessories, as well as security doors. Visit our showroom today at Southern Main Road, Homeland Gardens, Knupia, and let your dream home become a reality. Call us at 665-2282 or 671-2282. eFix Investments Limited, your home, your style, our passion. 
Obesity is a chronic disease and serious health issue in today's society associated with multiple comorbidities. At KSR Medical, our specialty is a medical treatment of this condition. Our doctors and pharmacists work together to help patients achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle through our five nutrient weight loss programs. Patients can lose one to two pounds in inches per day. Major health benefits also include decreased risk of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, certain cancers, joint pain, lowered blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and improved mobility. Trust KSR Medical with your weight loss journey. Give us a call now to get started. Visit Domus Windows and Doors Caribbean UPVC Solutions, located at 57 Factory Road, Chaguanas. Get a wide range of glass options, including security laminate. Customization is our specialty to achieve sound reduction and energy savings. Check out our standard size stock windows and high quality bargains on ready to go units. Call us at 235 3700 or visit www.domuswindows.com. Mata Imports Limited, the number one pickup shop for the best quality, price, and service. Check out their showroom at number 750 Papery Road, Lower Barrapore for a wide variety of 4x4 SUV and car accessories. You name it, they have it. Mata Imports has all the latest items in the market. The 4x4 boss is always taking you to the next level in the automotive industry. So contact them today at 654-5234 or 360-8773 for further information. There's a jungle loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud, crying out loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds, for crime, much if you really, really 
they want to stop crime Be safe when you're home, be safe in the street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender Still crime much came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down there's a jungle loud, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud, getting out and out, getting out and out. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come win playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe in the street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender Still crying much came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down there's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, getting out and out, getting out and out. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing, it's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home, be safe in the street. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender. Still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, getting out and out, getting out and out. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing, it's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home, be safe in the street. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender. Still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream, I had a dream like my new king. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, getting out and out, getting out and out. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing, it's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home, be safe in the street. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender. Still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, getting out and out, getting out and out. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing, it's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home, be safe in the street. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender. Still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. And we are back. Top of the evening to all those of you who are locked on online. A special good evening to all those of you who are looking at me from all over the world. And when I tell you all over the world, I mean all over the world. Um, oh, I can't take this call right now. They can text me. I had a very, a very hectic day. In fact, I went down to Valsain, where they, where they buried this girl down there. The father gone missing. Very, very sad story. Very, very sad as a horror house. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, it's like a generation curse. Tell you, that, is why, that, that is why you need to sometimes break a cycle, you know. You need to break a cycle. People, do, you don't believe it, but I believe that, you know, that, that 
life is, is it's a cycle. And sometimes if you come from a if you come from a bacchanal home and a rum home, it automatically it, sometimes it falls into your life and you don't know. Like I know people personally, their 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 their, 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 their families, their parents had drinking problems. They they they, they, they are challenging times. Very very and I'd rather say like rum. They are challenging times when coming to you know when coming to alcohol. Very very challenging times. It was hard. It was hard to ignore the, the taste of alcohol and and. You know, I mean, so, some of us might have a glass of wine, we could relax, but there are people who fight that demon. It becomes a demon to them. And, and, they, and I remember they themselves would, would tell me, Ian, I will never become like my, by, like my father. I will never become like, the, like, the, like this one in my family. And, and automatically, it's like it just... And before you know it, I'm like, wow. Whatever they ran from, it didn't pass them. It, did, it didn't pass them. And that's why you have to break generation curses in your life. It's a lot of things, ladies and gentlemen, that is questionable with respect to Valsena. It's a lot of things that are questionable. But it's just crazy. Because the children, they attended a very prominent school. Very, very prominent school. And they were all open. They got open scholarship, they could have pursued medicine, but nevertheless, they were told by their father they can't do that because he don't think that they should be helping people and inter interacting with people, so he, he sent them to do science subjects, yeah? And the mother, the mother was at home also, a very humble woman, a very, a very, a very, a very timid person, very... It's sad, it's just sad that, that, that one man could overpower an entire home like that and control and lock up children and don't let them have no friends, no phone, nothing. They can't, no, no photos. Like some children at that age, they love selfies, they love having friends over and whatnot. But he, I don't know, he took it, he took it differently. He took it differently, but I tell you something. By now at quarter to six, ten to six, that man's picture should have been posted that he's wanted in connection. Wanted in connection. He's wanted in connection with, with, with the, the death of, the, of, of, of this girl. These are, there's a proper photograph of him here. And very interesting, very interesting though. There's a, a mix up with, with, with photographs that are circulating. One is the brother of the man who lived in Valsin. But I'm going to show you all that today. We went down today and, you know, also ladies and gentlemen, I had to tell you about this. Do you know Sergeant um, Gobin, Sergeant Gobin attached to Monrepo? But this man had a home invasion this morning. His son is also the youngest. Well, then he was the youngest police officer in Trinidad and Tobago. He took the, um, a pol police constable, Gobin. But Sergeant Gobin, from Monrepo Police Station, like San Fernando, Block 4 Palmas, he had a home invasion. Men shouting and saying, police, 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 not knowing that there was a... So it just goes to show that sometimes they don't really do a, a, a recce. They don't really... Check out, check out the house. Sometimes they just at random. They watch a Benz in the road, a, uh, a fancy vehicle. They, 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 sometimes they, they, they're so senseless. They're so senseless, senseless that they don't even watch a vehicle. They watch and they don't even person have a gun, not knowing that when they enter the house of Sergeant Gobin, attached to Monrepo Police Station, that ladies and gentlemen, they were going to the home of a police officer. The bandit, the, the Three of them came, the bandit was shot three times. 
in an exchange of gunfire, he started to shoot back at the, at the homeowners and them, and the homeowner being a police officer and a, 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 a licensed firearm holder, and also a police officer, they started to even beat his son, the, the, the constable. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, the bandit has been identified, and I have to tell you who's the guy. He was shot three times. He has been identified as Malachi Sandy of El Socorro. Malachi Sandy of El Socorro. His date of birth is, is 19. His date of birth is 11 12, 2004. Right? Just want you to know that. He also goes by the alias Jaden. He goes by the alias Jaden. Young fella, you know, Jaden Roberts. He goes by that alias. But nevertheless, don't put up that photograph, please. Jaden, he goes by that. So, just to let you know, it is just crazy what's going on in this country. It is just crazy what is going on in this country. Just crazy what is going on in this country. And as we continue, before we go there, back to Valsin, and tell you everything, an autopsy conducted on the body of a man found off the coast of Venezuela on Saturday revealed that his throat was slit and he was stabbed. But I told you that. I told you that. There's a photograph of David C. Paul. I told you that, that he was stabbed multiple times and his throat was slit. Even before the autopsy, you heard me telling you that, that this man that was found. All right, that's one of the sailors. Well, uh, sorry, one of the fishermen in the boat that went for drugs. And everybody in sea just know what's going on. So they could do what they want. Remember, they had left Philiton Beach on Saturday 24th of February. So the decomposing body believed that to be of C. Paul after a T-shirt that was found on it matched the one that he was wearing on Pitya. The autopsy also re reported done last week by forensic pathologist Dr. Ramon Ombanija in Maturin, Venezuela. The whereabouts of the other four missing men, David and C. Paul, Jeremiah Pascal, Shiva C. Passad, and 21-year-old Briar Alexander Gonzalez are still unknown. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, that is a war that I don't think C just ready for. I don't think people involved in that, in that drug trade ready for that dance after, who, after persons I spoke with on Saturday. They don't, I, I, I don't think they, are, they, are, they understand the gravity of the situation. Also, a, band, uh, a woman was shot while standing with her husband in Barakpur. Just to let you know that a woman was shot while standing with her husband along the Barakpur main road, she was identified as Paige James Juman of Platinite Trace Barakpur. Again, the victim was identified as Paige James Juman of Platinite Trace Barakpur. She was standing with her husband when gunmen came alongside them and opened fire. The husband was not hit, but she was hit. Um, she was rushed to the hospital, the San Fernando Hospital, and underwent emergency surgery. Also, a shop owner was shot and wounded while walking in Diego Martin. The victim was identified as Christopher Balga, the owner of Brothers Mini Martin, Diego Martin. Around 8 p.m., Balga was reported walking along Vespri Lane when a lone gunman approached him and fired multiple shots, hitting him in the leg. Also, a prison officer, just to let you know this, a prison officer fired several shots behind bandits who attempted to rob him of his vehicle near South Park in San Fernando on Tuesday. Around 10, 12, the 40-year-old prison officer attached to maximum prison was sitting in his white Kia Sereto on his phone in front, in, with the front window down on the eastern car park when a white aqua stopped behind him. You know what's going on? So he parked up, and that is a well-lit place in, in, in South Park, and talking on his phone, normal, and a, a, a aqua pulled up behind him. Two men with jerseys covering their faces emerged from the vehicle and approached the officer, pointing a gun at him. The government ordered them to exit the vehicle before entering it and driving off. The officer subsequently pulled out his license, fired and fired shots at the, at the rear bumper. The bandit drove onto the concrete medium and shortly after abandoned the officer's car in the car park before escaping in the aqua they originally arrived in. So apparently what went on is that when they, when they took him out of the car, that's a smart move because if he, if he had really riled up, they would have taken out his gun and whatnot. But at least he was able to protect himself and his property.
So this is what went on in South Park. I tell you, South Park is such a great place, but sometimes you don't know, you just don't know what, what exactly is going on. These people are all over. They are all over. They are menace. These criminals are menace. Also, CCTV footage captured a driver purposely attempting to bounce on a man in Ragunath Trace, Takariga, before fleeing early on Tuesday. We have that footage. A CCTV footage captured a driver purposely attempting to bounce on a man in Ragunath Trace, Takarigua, before fleeing on Tuesday. What craziness is this? Did we get a number for the V? But he's coming back. He's coming back. But did you all get a number? What's the number? But that's the first thing you all should have. Is it on the CG? Well, get that on the CG, 2665. Who is driving that? That is the first thing I that, that is the first thing, and I said it yesterday. If you cannot, if you cannot, if you're on an accident or you inv or somebody crash or something or the first thing is there's a number plate of a car city driver. A million people have a tealer, but not a million people have the same number. So we don't know if it's a fake number plate, but nevertheless, PCM 2665. It's on the CG bar right now. PCM 2665. So watch. So who is this guy? So he reverses his vehicle in an attempt to, to try to kill him man. Watch what oh good. Mash up his own vehicle, no? PCM. Could you put it on the CG, please? PCM 2665. So everybody came out and watching. That's real funny, boy. Where this happen? Watch. So it's, uh, huh. But you have a cutlass in the sand, so maybe they had an argument earlier on. Hey, come on. Hey, hey. He had a cutlass earlier on. So you had to watch that. So you don't know if there's an argument. They had an argument before. So people tell you, where's that one boy? Well, PCM 2665. Very easy, very easy. So now we have an idea. So anybody see that man and see that car, tell him he's a no good and he should be charged. He should be charged. A man has been fined $9,000 on charge of drunk driving, following a crash that left an attorney dead. The man has been fined 9000 on charges of drunk driving following a crash that left an attorney dead on Saturday. The accused has been identified as Luke Nat Rambali of St. John Trace in Avocat Faisabad. Rambali appeared before Magistrate Gloria Jasmat in the Superior Second Court and pleaded guilty to driving under the influence of alcohol. Rambali reportedly failed a breathalyzer test which showed a reading of 84 micrograms, 85 micrograms of alcohol per 100 milliliters of breath, which is 50 micrograms, more than the legal limit of 35 micrograms. So you, the legal limit is 35 micrograms. He had 85. He also ordered, ordered to, pay, to pay the fine in a month or in the fall, saved nine months in jail with hard labor. Around, se no, around 7 p.m., 69-year-old attorney, Everett Davidson of Sobrian Trace in Separia was reportedly walking along Gamble Street when a vehicle driven by Rambali struck him from behind. Davidson was thrown several feet into the air before landing on the, on the roadway. But that's another part. So I think this is the part for drunk driving. And then, then after, the part for, for driving recklessly and whatnot, that's another part. So, so, so for the, 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 the drunk driving, he has been charged. But I don't, think that, I don't think that is over yet. I don't think that is over yet. All right? Also, a man was charged in connection with the murder of 28-year-old 
one year Kareem Small and the wounding of another man in Signal Hill in Tobago on January 1st. The accused was identified as 20-year-old Jamal Samuel of Signal Hill Main Road, Signal Hill, Tobago. Samuel appeared virtually before Master Sarah De, De Silva Monday and was charged with the murder, shooting with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, possession of a firearm and possession of ammunition. Samuel was remanded into custody until next appearance on June the 3rd. He was later arrested, in fact, he was arrested last week by officers of Tobago Divisional Task Force, TDTF, and Criminal Investigation Department. If I could take you back to the story and how, it, how this happened, it took place on Monday the 1st, on January 2024, around 4 p.m., Small and another 28-year-old man were walking in the vicinity of St. Luke Road, Patients in Tobago, when they were shot, Small died at the scene while the other man was taken to hospital where he was treated and discharged. The investigation was supervised by AS. ASP Bridge Lal and Inspector Mongru, Ins Acting Inspector Joe Field and Sergeant Squashy George of Homicide Bureau Investigation Region 1. So a man has been charged in Tobago. He has been identified as 20-year-old Jamal Samuel of Signal Hill Main Road, Signal Hill. Also, ladies and gentlemen, the Strategic Services Agency, SSA, the Deputy Director of Intelligence, Joan Bartolome Daniel, Again, the Strategic Services Agency, SSA, Deputy Director of Intelligence, Joanne Bartholomew Daniel, was suspended along with five other employees on Tuesday the 12th, following a wide-ranging police investigation. Electronic devices were also allegedly taken from at least five SSA personnel following a meeting with the acting SSA Director, Brigadier Anthony Philip Spencer, who replaced SSA Director Major Roger Best after he was sent on administrative leave for questionable recruitment. Remember, one of, one of, the, recruit, one of the persons recruited was a pastor. A pastor. He's a, a spy. He said he's a spy. He had police uniform. He had wireless and whatnot. I don't know if it's the same church that the, that the former SSA the, the guy, if he attends. But nevertheless, maybe his intention was good, but it turned out to be very, very bad. And... I must commend the Prime Minister. Look how they can act. Look how you can act one time. One time, people started to get suspended. This one started to get suspended. That one suspended. Deputy Director of SSA suspended along with others. But nevertheless, what about those who fail in different ministries in, in, um, in um, as Minister of National Security? What about the rogue elements in government? What about those who are stealing? What about those who are doing wrong things? And I need to tell you, I need to tell you about the, four, the, the quadruple murder. You remember the quadruple murder? I go to Bossa Mark one time. I go to Bossa Mark. I, I, I go to Bossa Mark. It all had to do with, with, all, it all had to do with, 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 with a racket, an AGC racket. It all had to do with contracts. It all have to do with contracts. Who have contracts? And this one a contract in Coover. And this one follow them. But if you see how serious that is, you see that? It's contract. It's not nothing because people saying that this one had some relative and was a minor involved. And this one interfered with a minor. And the minor make a child film. I know about all that. But the real, the, the take it from me, how I get it is so I sell it to you. The quadruple murder, the quadruple murder that claimed the life. And I show on Monday, if I take you back, I can take you back. The country called its first quadruple murder for the year. Four men were shot, execution style, men dressed in police gear in Mayaro. The deceased were identified as Body George, 59 Body George, and his two sons, 20 year old Jeremiah George and Marcus Body George, and he, he identified as 29 year old Dion Keon Mendoza. All said to be cocoa, fa cocoa farmers from Martha Street. It all had to do with a contract. That's all it had to do. Somebody wanted a contract. I hear, I hear, I hear people name calling here. Yeah? I, I just want you to know that people name calling. I hear a minister name call. I don't know. I don't know. I just what's it. Just so I get it. I hear any shooters from Kuva. All kind of thing I hear. But nevertheless, the death of these men, ladies and gentlemen, had to do with a contract. That is it. Had to do with a contract. Bottom line, somebody has got the contract, he got the contract, they wanted the contract, and, they, and, they, and there was a, a bacchanal. And family members are scared to come out and talk, but everybody knows it all had to do with contracts. So you know, just to let you know, the entire world know why these men lost their lives wasn't not because they, they, let, they let the women go free. There are two ladies and a, a, a baby in the camp also. They went to, to, to camp in the forest and whatnot. It's something that they regularly do. Apparently, they, they, they were followed from Coover 
by the gunmen and them, and that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it had to do with a contract. We're going to take a fast break, and I want... All right, we have three minutes again before you might remember. This is a time, the month of Ramadan, time of fasting and whatnot. So, when we take that break in three minutes' time, that is the time of... That is the time to break your fast, and that, that spot that has been... That time and that alert has been brought to you courtesy Adri's Marketing and their group of companies. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so that SSA thing is a serious thing, very, very serious thing. So other persons, other persons have been sent, um, other persons have been um, sent uh, to the Strategic Services, Services Agency, SSA, Deputy Director of Intelligence, Joan Bartholomew Daniel was suspended along with five other employees on Tuesday, the 12th of March, 2024, following a wide-ranging police investigation. Electronic devices were also allegedly taken from at least five SSA personnel following a meeting with, with acting SSA Director and Brigadier Anthony Phillips Spencer, who replaced SSA Director Major Roger Best. After was, in fact, Best was sent on administrative leave for questionable recruitment practices on Saturday. On, um, remember on Saturday, 9th of March, a pastor, a search was conducted at the home of a pastor and self-claim intelligence officer, Ian Ezekiel Brown, resulted in the discovery of two wireless radios, two police uniforms, among other items seized. Officers of the Interagency inter Task Force, IATF, Special Branch and Special Investigation Unit, visited Brown Home and Chin, Al Young Street Arima, where they made the discovery. Now, they wanted to know how this man get recruited and all whatnot. So a lot of things were happening. A lot of people were being recruited into SSA and how could they, how this could be possible just like that and people have been sent home and whatnot but look how the government ladies and gentlemen when they want to deal with a situation they could deal with it because they, once they want to deal with wrongdoing they could deal with it but you're dealing with it on one hand you understand you're dealing with one percent or two percent of it but you're leaving the 98 percent unattended so you see they, 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 they you know they, they know right from wrong they know right from wrong so, but they're more focused on the right they more focused on doing wrong, but not uh, but no correction when the when the, the wrong is being done, and there's a right way, and there's a right way. So you so you realize now they gone after the SSA guy. There's well they, they 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 sent him home. People they realize this pastor man from this somebody from the church from the same church or something, you know he got a big work. Then they realize now they going back now and they realize well they they they, they going to the deputy. The deputy um, person for intelligence, and they sent they they, they sent Joanne home, and along with five other SSA personnel. You understand? So it's, it's it's a very interesting happening. Also, ladies and gentlemen, let's go straight to the prayer. Courtesy of Adris Marketing Limited. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma laqasumtu wa ala rizqika aftartu. Walla, for thy sake have I fasted, and I now break the fast with the sustenance that comes from thee. Bismillahi wa ala barakatala. Idris Marketing Limited, the Caribbean's largest supplier of wrought iron parts and accessories. We carry a wide selection of handcrafted decorative security steel doors, UPVC and aluminium windows, zinc RHS, gate tracks, hinges, razor spikes and welding equipment. Come see our stainless steel department where we cater for domestic and commercial use. Visit us today at Freeport and Arapita Avenue for your beautification and security needs. Don't wait until it's too late. Courtesy of Adris Marketing Limited. SNS Passat Supermarket comes to St. Mary's Freeport. 
with the wide aisles of variety, quality you can trust, a community hub, and loyalty rewards. When I say that I have everything, I have everything from your fresh produce to wines and spirits, your butcher, meat, seafood, bakery, you name it, they have it. And with these prices, trust me, you're guaranteed to save some money in your pocket. So come on down and shop the day at the brand new SNS Passage Supermarket, St. Mary's Free. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. Now opened at our Montrose Shogunas branch, Tire Clinic's Truck Tire Department. With a faster tire changer, the largest service bay to facilitate all your heavy equipment needs. We carry tires for cars, motorcycles, or get your alignment done all at one spot. Call or visit us today. Introducing Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, berberine, bitter melon, and banana leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine Plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Total Tools One Stop Station by Salinas Marketing is the number one authorized distributor for original Total Tools products in the Caribbean. We carry a wide variety of quality products suited for any project or everyday use. Pressure washers, rotary hammers, cordless drills, angle grinders, chop saws, vacuums, ladders, and so much more. Come in to 797 to 799 Papery Road, Lower Barrack Pool, and be amazed by our fantastic prices. Contact us at 654-5996 or 3678665. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for great deals. Attention all bakers, double spenders and roti makers. Try our high quality bromate free all purpose and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiquicho Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715 or visit us at Warrenville Canupia. Chiquicho Limited, quality you can trust. PNV Marketing is number one for all your new and roll-on roll-off vehicles. 100% financing available on all vehicles. The best price and warranty for three years or 50,000 kilometers. Seven years warranty or 100,000 kilometers on hybrid batteries. Visit our showroom or give us a call today. Welcome to eFix Investments Limited, your one-stop destination for all your home essentials. Transform your bathroom with our exquisite range of showers, enclosures, luxury bathtubs, modern toilets, faucets, ceramic sinks, and vanities. Enhance your kitchen with our stainless steel sinks. Our extensive selection includes bath, kitchen accessories, as well as security doors. Visit our showroom today at Southern Main Road, Homeland Gardens, Scrupia, and let your dream home become a reality. Call us at 665-2282 or 671-2282. eFix Investments Limited, your home, your style, our passion. Welcome to Bobby's Motor Supplies and Accessories Limited, your number one dealer in auto parts. We carry a wide range of windshields, door glass, body parts, auto lamps, lenses, batteries, suspension parts, and much more. Come on down to a one of a kind showroom at Hussein Circular Drive Number Two Bamboo Settlement for your side steps, bed liner, chrome kits, roll bar, tray covers with free installation on all accessories. Call us at 235-4859 or WhatsApp 342-3453. Our friendly customer service staff is ready to assist you. 
Just in time for Eid, the Fab India Expo opposite Medford Gas Station in Shagwanas will be reopening on the 9th of March. We've got unique items available, one-of-a-kind outfits for the entire family for Eid. We've got a wide range of gift items also available for the month of Ramadan. Join us for Iftar every day. We've got multiple booths catering for your religious needs. Also catering the best grooms and bridal outfits with matching accessories and all that you need. Check out our multi-cuisine food court and nano school fee. We've got a wide range of modern furniture available, pure teak furniture and so much more. The Fab India Expo opposite Medford Gas Station, Shagwanas from the 9th of March. Be sure to check us out. Considering a career in procurement or supply chain? Start the Chartered Institute of Procurement and Supply, SIPS, program at CTS College. SIPS is internationally recognized as the leading professional accreditation for procurement and supply chain professionals. It covers industry-related topics like strategic sourcing, contract management and ethical practices. With one day of class per week and six intake periods, students can get certified in as little as six months. Contact CTS College today and ask about our flexible payment options and how you can get up to $2,700 off. Enhance your space with extreme home and tiles cry limited. Get porcelain, ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space waste, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Corners or call 299-3271 for more info. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Gentlemen, I want to tell I want to tell you again that Sergeant that Sergeant Gobin from Monrepo, when the gunmen entered, they entered through his by his son room, who's a police officer also. One of, he was one of the youngest police officers at that time. That was a couple of years I met them. Great guy, great guy. He and his father really nice people and thing. And um, but that's real sad. And they break into the manual, but you want to hear the next part of that story? The fellow who I who I call who I tell you in custody right now. Malakai Sandy, a justice 21 El Socorro, he's 19 years. He goes by the alias um, Jaden Roberts, right? If you know him, get in contact with me. You know, you remember Passad, the food king had a break in and, and, you know, a home invasion also. And when the police went, well, the mastermind behind it, we had given them information and one man was shot dead. The mastermind behind the facade, the food king. Do you know that this man fingerprints, and that's how fingerprints are very important. When, crime, when, when CSI on a scene and they see the dusting for fingerprints. How after so long, ladies and gentlemen, this man who went to Sergeant Gobin house and tried and rob him. They also found a firearm. He would drop the firearm and all too. Let me tell you something. Do you know that this man print is by Passade the food king place, his relatives? Yeah. It's serious. So I tell you, it is come back to it is come back to deal with you. It is come back to deal with you. You're gonna feel the matrix. Feel it. You we might not get the matrix, you'll get the reload. You're gonna get the reload. Yeah. I'm telling you. Also, five bandits stage a robbery at a home in Sandy Grandi early on Wednesday around 3 a.m. Five men of which was armed with a gun reportedly broke into the home along. Jutaram Street and announced a robbery. The suspect relieved the victim of three Samsung television and MacBook Pro laptops and whatnot. They were driving the vehicle. The, the, the suspect fled the scene in a white Tida car registration PCW3865. Don't some I feel like I know that car, boy. They were driving PCW3865. I hope I have that on the screen. Also, armed bandits kidnapped and beat and robbed four Vestini store employees. Around 7 p.m., the four workers were already locked up St. Anthony's Convenience Store in Vestini Village Library. St. Anthony's Convenience Store in, La in Vestini Village Library and were about to enter a black Kia Rio car when a white 80 wagon approached. Five men dressed in dark clothing with their faces covered emerged from the vehicle brandishing firearm and announced a robbery. One of the suspects drove off in the Kia Rio and his, the, the victims 
three females and one male were forced in the AD wagon and were taken to an abandoned house at Grove Park or a pool. They still and then punched one of the victims in the face before feel relieving her of her phone, a tablet, and a bunch of keys. The men then took phone, money, and jewelry from the other victims and tied them up with tie straps. Boy, you see, having locking up business and all kind of things. It's how serious it is. You see, serious. If you say, you feel that key for people's business, that he ranks for they compromising your safety, yes? I tell you, it's so serious. That's why I tell you, people is be watching. People is be watching. Just like the, the, the video from the fella um, yesterday, boy, um, the supermarket man in Separia. And we aired it. What's the name of the supermarket yesterday? Um, we aired it. The Bone Supermarket. Remember that video? Yeah, yeah, the Bone Supermarket. He was robbed, I think, over the weekend. They, they attempted to rob him. Go ahead. Yeah. Get a CG for that. See? And yeah. And why he locking up his his car is is Supermarket, gunmen crossed the road one time. I tell her waiting for the footage, I'm waiting for it. But like that coming on a snail over. Jump. Watch it. Watch him. Going across. Normal, normal, watch. Man locking up. Normal, normal, watch it. Normal, normal. That's what I tell the people watching. Look how they're going to rob this, these people and them. St. Saint, Saint Anthony's. St. Saint Anthony's convenience store invest in the village library. Rob the employees. Tell you this is so serious, yeah? This is so serious. People watching. People watching. He walk across the road. Watch him. Watch. Not only man already fame. Watch. Also, ladies and gentlemen, also, a 36-year-old Carney man was allegedly kidnapped, beaten, and robbed before being left in Enterprise. Around one to the victim was walking towards his black Toyota Corolla, which was parked near True Value Supermarket in Trinity Mall Car Park. When he was accosted by two men, the suspects attacked the victim and forced him into the backseat of his vehicle before driving off. The suspect then drove to Dallas Trace in Enterprise, where they stopped and were joined by a third individual. The three suspects then began beating the victim before relieving him of his cash and cellular phone. The suspect then re-entered the victim's car and drove off. The victim notified the police and officers from Shogunot Police Station and Ruka Police Station responded and went in search of the suspect who was still at large. So this man was abducted in the car park near True Value Supermarket in Trin City Mall car park, you see? So you have to be careful. Go, you have to be careful in car park. You have to be careful. You have to be careful. So ladies and gentlemen, let me just take you back again. Back to Valsin, skeleton remains to be that of an 18-year-old girl but who disappeared. I'm just showing you for clips from yesterday, yeah? who disappeared seven years ago, were found buried in a shallow grave at her home, described as a horror house. The remains believed to be that of 18-year-old Hannah Matura, who disappeared in 2017, but was never reported missing to the police. The, remain, the remains clad in a tube top, a pair of red pants, and an underwear. Huh. The remains clad in a tube top, a pair of red pants, and underwear was discovered buried near a, a tree in a one-foot grave behind the family home at 6... Butu Road, South Valsin, which is allegedly divided into three apartments. The male relative reportedly contacted officers of St. Joseph Police Station on Sunday and informed them that, that Matura's body was buried in the backyard. The officers, accompanied by their colleagues from the Homicide Bureau of Investigation, Region 2, and Senior Superintendent Smith, there yesterday with an excavator from the Tunapuna Piaco Regional Corporation that they used to dig up the remains of the ground. While at the house of her house, the officer also found eight children locked inside the home. Residents of the area told police that they often they would call the police, call St. Joseph police. They used to call the police. They, they even said that they used to call. They used to call right truths. And nothing happened. Nothing, nothing happened. Nobody took them on. But I will tell you something. In that same home, ladies and gentlemen, I remember in 2015, I went down there. An alleged bandit was killed at the, at the same home in Butu Road. 
South Vals in around 11 30. I went down there, I was showing from 2015. I was in front of that house. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen. We're in Valsi area, who to go to be exact. Now, details are still sketchy, but nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, a man was found dead at this house. Now, we are, uh, I think it's an apartment building. Um, I can't see, but um, I'm seeing a lot of doors. And it looks like an apartment building, but nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the uh, police officer, they're on this side here. Oh, they, have, they, they, they have moved, and um, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Stop. Now, if you notice on top of the vehicle, that, that place covered in white, white paper, you know, up, to, up, that is 2015. You know, everything is the same. Everything is the same there. No paint, the same chair. Everything is a real spooky place. Because I watching, I say, but wait, that, that place was broken in, was broken into the, the, the bandit fell. Go ahead. There is a, 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 a police vehicle on this side here. We can't say exactly where it happened, but um, a body was discovered at this. Well, it looks like, it looks like an apartment building. Um, in Valsin, uh, oh. to be exact, uh, as you can see, uh, well, I'm, I'm seeing somebody from the Valsin area. He's coming. Hi, good afternoon. Yeah, tell us exactly what happened here. Uh, is this um? You know someone from here? Is this an apartment building? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but we, did, we just found out somebody was from uh, information passing now. And somebody was found out. The place is so developed now. New houses went up and whatnot. And do you know, ladies and gentlemen, and James um, Gerard, who's, who, who's allegedly a patient at the Sentence Hospital, lived a, a life plagued by great pain and tragedy, yeah? But that does not, you know, that still. On Wednesday, 26th of January, the body of James' daughter, 36 year old Vanna Gerard, was discovered at a beach in Annasville in Tobago. Look how pretty this girl. Pretty girl. One day after she was reported missing, Vanna, a model, actress, and singer of Butu Road, Valsin South, traveled to the island that weekend to spend time with her aunt in, at a villa in Annasville. Right, ar ar in fact, around 9 a.m., Vanna reportedly went for a walk in the area, but never returned. They said she walked into the sea. She was reported missing to officers by the, by the uh, Chevron Road Police Station after a track pants and a sweater that she was wearing was found in a trail near the property. Vanna grew up and lived with her grandparents, but her grandmother, whom she was very close with, passed away a month prior, and it's believed she became depressed. Her granny's death may have taken a toll on her life. Also, the owner of that home, ladies and gentlemen, he had witnessed, he had witnessed, the owner... The owner of the home had witnessed uh, that took place on the 1st of January 19, 1987, where, um, in fact, they went uh, to a motor circuit area in Wallerfield with his 23 year old wife, his wife Leslie Ann, Leslie Ann Gerard. And Gerard was there, and the man of the house there was just 27 years old. Boy, and you know what went on? They said that. Somebody come and slit the wife's throat and, slit, and kill the child and stab him behind his neck. I don't know if anybody was ever arrested for that because a flashback. And you understand. I don't want to connect that to that as yet. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, we were there today and I'm going to take a fast break. This, this video is about 22 minutes. You're going, to see it on my, you're going to see it on my fan page and whatnot. But we're going to play as much as we can. Remember, we don't end at 7. We don't end at 7. We have the analytics for you. Oh, my God. Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, we were... Yesterday, we were 610,000. Monday, we were 610,000. Monday, we were 610,000. 955. That's on Monday alone, eh? This is just for March. This is just for March. Do you know it's the 13th of March? And we have gone to 786,605 persons watching your ads, watching this show. So, 
another reason why you should advertise. And this is just one platform. This is YouTube. What about Ian Allen Network on Facebook? What about on television? What about the app, the Ian Allen app on any Android phone, any iPhone, anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world? You can download from any phone, any Android phone, any Android boxes, all the smart TV, anywhere in the world, you can download my app. Again, Wednesday it was 70. In fact, we have gone up again, we have gone up again. It was four million, just on Wednesday, on Monday the 11th, we had, we had, yeah, it went up again. So, we were 73, we, we were 72 million something on Monday the 11th. Today, Monday, Wednesday 13, we are 73 million. I tell you, we're going for 100 million this year. So, this is just one platform, and the analytics don't lie, yeah? Analytics do not lie. You might lie. People might come on television and say they have the number one show. Number one show and they know what. And all the, and all the lookalikes and the wannabes, nobody could beat that. No television station in Trinidad and Tobago could beat that. Nobody could beat it. The facts don't lie. The analytics don't lie. And that is just one platform. And your ad is on different platforms. You can't beat that. You make sure and get in contact with us. We're going to take a fast break, and I'm going to take it to Val City. You saw me in 2015. I must have been looking horrible and all too. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, you, we went back today. And we got, in fact, I have exclusive video of the excavator and whatnot. And we took some shots at the area. You know, let's go straight. Let's take a fast break. Go ahead. Make this Ramadan unforgettable with Fasad's the Food King. Share joyful meals with loved ones with our wide selection of quality ingredients. Enjoy Central Farms Halal Duck, £4.89. Dujardin Frozen Veg Mix, 454 grams, 2 for $24.99. Fine Choice Calypso Pack Chicken, 2 packs, $20. Crown Parboiled Rice, 8 kgs, $59.99. Distinction Milk, 2 packs, $27. Regal Dates, 175 grams, 2 packs for $14.99. Fresh Harvest 750 gram brown sugar, three packs for $25. Nutrimix flour 10 kg, now $74.99. Split piece dal 400 grams, five packs for $20. Plus, Fresh Harvest one gallon soybean oil for only $54.99. Offers available at all nine locations until April 10th or while stocks last. Wishing you a blessed Ramadan from Passage the Food King. Is your vehicle in need of repairs and you're tired of paying expensive prices for inferior parts? Then Car City Trading is your solution. We carry a wide range of high quality brand new Korean auto parts at unbeatable prices. From the smallest sensors to a complete nose cut, head and block suspension, body and electrical parts, engine parts, cooling systems, compressors, alternators, starters and more. We are ready to serve you at Lot 78 Bamboo Settlement Number 2. Call us at 615-2603 or WhatsApp 704-2246 to get your quote. Car City Trading, quality products at on beatable prices. Head on down to Dibbles Auto Parts for their March Madness Sale. For the month of March, you can get fantastic prices on Japanese-made and roll-on roll-on vehicles, Nissan, Toyota, Mitsubishi, and more. Steering racks, nose-cut bumpers, evaporators, condensers, alternators, compressors, coil packs, fenders, bonnets, transmission, mirrors, head and tail lamps, and so much more. Visit any of our three locations, Bamboo Number 2, Bamboo Number 3, and Aruka. Give us a call or check us out on social media. It's a March Madness Sale now on at Dibbles Auto Parts. Dibbles Auto Parts, we lead others follow. Mata Imports Limited, the number one pickup shop for the best quality, price and service. Check out their showroom at number 750 Papery Road, Lower Barrapore for a wide variety of 4x4 SUV and car accessories. You name it, they have it. Mata Imports has all the latest items in the market. The 4x4 boss is always taking you to the next level in the automotive industry. So contact them today at 654-5234 or 360-8773 for further information. Paradise Pools and Spas Limited has the world's best brands in pool supplies and equipment. Our showroom is the largest in the Caribbean and is well stocked with a wide variety of cleaning equipment and chemicals for your pools and spas. We also carry pumps, filters, heaters, lights and so much more. Delivery services available throughout TNT. At Paradise Pools, we service what we sell and treat your pool right. Come into any of our three locations, Santa Cruz, San Fernando and Tobago. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram or give us a call. Paradise Pools and Spas Limited, celebrating 20 years of service to you. Come to light in a relaxing
relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished, air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day of a luxurious poolside, fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1-917-239-5799 to book your stay. Make this Ramadan unforgettable with Prasad's The Food King. Share joyful meals with loved ones with our wide selection of quality ingredients. Enjoy Central Farms Halal Duck, £4.89. Dujardin Frozen Veg Mix, 454 grams, 2 for $24.99. Fine Choice Calypso Pack Chicken, 2 packs, $20. Crown Parboiled Rice, 8 kgs, $59.99. Distinction Milk, 2 packs, $27. Regal 100 grams, 5 packs for $20. Plus... Fresh Harvest 1 Gallon Soybean Oil for only $54.99. Offers available at all 9 locations until April 10th or while stocks last. Wishing you a blessed Ramadan from Passage the Food King. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West, and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. SNS Passage Supermarket comes to St. Mary's Freeport with the wide aisles of variety, quality you can trust, a community hub, and royalty rewards. When I say that I have everything, I have everything from your fresh produce, the wines and spirit, your butcher, wheat, seafood, bakery, you name it, they have it. And with these prices, trust me, you're guaranteed to save some money in your pocket. So come on down and shop the gate at the brand new SNS Passage Supermarket, St. Mary's Free. So ladies and gentlemen, so today we made our way to, to Val say, now, you know what, when that bandit fell in 2015, now you wonder if it was really a bandit, boy. You're thinking all kind of thing now, and I wonder if it's really a bandit. You know, so I'll take your cause. I'll show you how they have excavated they were there digging and whatnot. Go ahead. One. So ladies and gentlemen, right, so I remember I came here in, 20, in 2015, in 2015, where they abandoned, abandoned, died here. Now remember we just spoke to a, a guy here. Now he said he's been living here seven years, but he, do, he, do, he don't know the girl. He don't know the young lady, um, Anna Matura, who's gone missing and her remains was found to the back of the house. So I'm just showing you what it is like. And you know, very, very strange. Yeah? I tell you, this place have a history now. Remember, on Wednesday, 26th of January, the body of James' daughter, Vanna Gerard, Gerard, was discovered at a beach in Annasville in Tobago. Oh. One day after, she reported missing. Remember, she just took out her clothes and walked straight into the beach. And that was it, you know, remember that? Um, she was a, a model, an actress, a singer of, of Butu Road, Valsin South. Um, traveled to the island that weekend to spend time with her, with her aunt at a villa in Annasville. Around 9 a.m., Vanna reportedly went for a walk in the area but never returned. And Vanna lived here, so the mental, the mental, it played with her mind. It, it, you know, it, sometimes in life you really don't know what people are going through. And then, just imagine this, the history of this man here, the, the father, is that on the January 1st, 1997, he went down to 
to um, Waller Field to watch a um, that was on the first the first of January, nineteen eighty-seven. James witnessed his first wife and his seven-month-old baby being murdered in Wallerfield around ten thirty a.m. that morning. Uh, Gerard was twenty-seven years old at the time. Just wanted to show you some of the shots because we took some drone, drone shots. The entire clip going to be on 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 on, on my page, but I'm going to show you where they, where, where they were digging yesterday. Go ahead. The exact started from here. Go ahead. What are you? The clock can raise, boy? The clock can raise? Let's see, I say, yeah. Also, also, now that is exclusive shots. So that is exclusive shots. You're gonna see it on my. You're, you're, you're gonna see it on my. On my um that entire video, okay. Also, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, what we're gonna do? I did some. I went across to the side of the house now. That's the other shot, right? The other shot where 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 we are from where we are from the wire. I I went close to the electric fence here yeah, to get the shot. Go ahead. And here from the from the top here. This is the back of the house here. This is the back of the house. And let's see that that gimbal there. Hold it for me. Right, I'm showing you to the back of the house. Look at it. This is where the, this is where the um, I'm showing you where the dog on there. Okay. So this is six seven one four zero six two. Start changing those those CGs. Six seven one four zero six two. This is where the girl was so I'm showing you to the back of the house where they, where they had to use the excavator and whatnot. You see the, you see the impressions. Now we want to believe that the guy is still around. Yeah, we want to believe that he's still somewhere. somewhere. I want to believe that the guy is still around. Yeah, the the the, the, the father of the child is still around, and the children are brilliant. You know, they have open scholarships and they they won awards and whatnot. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. No, no, nobody has ever seen Hannah. If we get a photograph of Hannah, can anybody send us a photograph of Hannah? Matu uh, Matura, hi, caller. Good evening. Yes, Mr. Allen. Pleasant evening to you. Here now, that, 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 that owner of that house, there. Yeah. That man look like he, that man look like he need a checkup for me, neck up, boy. Yeah, what's going on? There? Too much of things going on with that man, boy. And then another thing again, 
is the man who didn't get killed there when they say was our bandit. I had all one ninety first earlier bandit to them or be set them up. But I wonder who really I wonder if anybody was held if he, even but in Wallafield in Wallafield when his wife and child was murdered. I wonder if anybody was held in Wallafield. That's what I want to hear. If anybody was ever held held in Wallafield. Yeah. He, he, he needs he need some good deliverance. Yeah? It's not a matter of deliverance. We pass that stage, man. It's not like deliverance. Go ahead. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. And then we spoke to a guy from the house, right? Here. Come off the phone now. Talk in the mic, please. Talk in the mic. There's a mic. Speak in the mic. Same thing like uh -huh. when I came here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Right. You, you, do you know, ladies and gentlemen, that the wife of this man was in that house yesterday when the police arrived? And she's very... Submissive. Now remember, ladies and like remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is two different. I heard that take my audio down, please. Re remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's two different people. Yeah, the person Hannah father is on the run right now. Andrew Matura, right? He's on the run. The the man who owned that house is James Gerard. That is that that is the man who who. He's in sentence right now. He's a, he's a patient in sentence. He and his, his, his wife, sorry, his wife and son was murdered in Wallerfield. So it's two different cases, two different cases. I, I just got a little mix up there. It's two different cases. This man here. This is the man who owned the house. His daughter committed suicide in Tobago. And his first wife and son was killed in Wallerfield. Right. So Hannah's father have nothing to do with that. So we kind of clear in the air tonight. Hi, Kuala, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So we're going back to where we were at the house there. Go ahead. My guy, you could just hand me the, the, the gimbal from here, right? So I'll just show it to you now, right? So, as you can see here. Hi, Kuala, good evening. Hi, Ian. Hi. There are too many questions around in this family. We need to take a thorough investigation into this family. Thank you. It's very, very unfortunate. Also, ladies and gentlemen, also, also, we spoke to a young fella, we spoke to a young guy, a young guy, at the house. Today, go ahead. Name of the home, are you homeowner? One of the Maturas? A, yeah? A Giro? Giro, sorry. You live here? Yes, I live How long have you been living here now? About seven. Seven or eight years. So then you would have known the, the, the young lady? You don't know her? So you rent here or? No, no, my family, family property. Oh, family property. Are you, fa are you a, 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 the, the man who drives this car, is he your father? No, he's not my father. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Also, ladies and gentlemen, the guy, the father of the girl, who, who was the father of the girl, was cussing and gaining on, right? That is the father of the girl in the red car. And apparently he came back and police was on the scene today looking for him. This is the video. Go ahead.
Leave now. Leave. Leave. Where are the sinners stored for the virtuous? As a god can person. Leave. Open the gate. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, he went back today. He went back. That, that all this happened over the weekend when they realized when he realized that police and the, the relatives kind of get fed up now when they went to the police station. Right? He realized now. So if anybody have photos of him, could you send it to me on my 2944081? Because the set car was at the set car, ladies and gentlemen, was back at the house and the people wanted well how this car come by the police wanted it so the police was so clear so somebody he's somewhere around somebody has him in some house or something i want to believe because the car is there but he's not there he's not there the police searched the house they you know they entered the premises looking for the man looking for the father of hannah because that is the main suspect he is the main suspect because he was there the car was back in back there go ahead History, they said he has mental problems, but I mean, this is in no way to say that the, 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 I mean, the children, I mean, the children are brilliant. I don't want to go into details and tell you about the school and whatnot. They're innocent and, you know, they need counseling, they, they, they need psychiatric help. I heard that when the police came here, the mother, who also lived here, very submissive, like, was like, you know, she, you, know, you, know, you, know you know, when there's a strong person in a house and has everybody down, everybody down that kind of rule in here and you, you can look at the house i mean valton is a beautiful place beautiful beautiful place and i'm just showing you like inside and just to the outside here look that area there where the bandit and up to this day in 2015 that is the same thing from there so you can see that nothing was going on nothing 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 was going on and this is the car we saw in a video now we can't say if that was this, if that was the day that 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 that, that, that was videotape if that was the same time but they wanted to hold the car the, the police here, want the to know here. how the car went back on the scene because he's the man they're looking for also we have we i have some drone shots for you go ahead But do you know, ladies and gentlemen, come back to me. The guy I spoke to, right by the house, you know who is that? That is Vanna, brother, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a big, it's, it's a big place, you know, it's a big apartment. The, the, if you look at the entire video we'll post tonight, there's a 22 minutes video that I have. It shows you the whole thing. Go ahead. So this is the back here. You're seeing it, yeah? Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. That's the start of the drone shot. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. 6714062. So I'm showing you to the back of the house. But I need to get a photograph of Hannah. Imagine this girl was found in... in, in <laughs> boy, that's craziness, yes? Craziness. Five sisters went to prestigious schools. Super brilliant, super brilliant. Part of the house had no electricity. Hi, caller, good evening. This guy is, this guy is a crazy guy. The, the, yeah?
Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, caller. Hello, Mr. Allen. Yeah, go ahead. What do you think is the relationship between the two people, between the two families? I think you have to look into that. Okay. So this is start of the house, eh? But the, but the, but 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 they are brothers. One owns the house and one do, well, he's, he one one is in St. Anne's, he's a patient of the psychiatric department, right? Right? His his wife and child was murdered in Wallafie. We now understand. I must have a little mix up just to let you know. His, his wife and child was murdered in Wallafie in 1987, and also his daughter drowned in Tobago. Well, allegedly they say commit, committed suicide. So he's at a mental institution. His brother now, his brother, and Andre Matura, Andrew Matura is Hannah's father. And he's the one who have all the children and everybody locked up, and the wife and everybody locked up. Andrew is the guy. But James is the owner of the house. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So now you understand. So I just get, you know, showing you around the house and nothing was ever repaired. Nothing, 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 nothing. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So you can't link his mental illness, James, um, in, in illness with Andrew. Andrew's the guy in the red card. That's the, that's, that's the main suspect. You understand? Remember, a relative confessed who buried the body, you know? To the back of the house. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Alive, hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So these are just aerial shots. Uh, aerial shots where the body was found to the back of the house. These are just aerial shots. There is a 22 uh, minutes video. Also, we spoke, and the guy in the red jersey, where, where you saw in you, the... So these are just aerial shots. That's real serious. That's real serious. So we have to find this man. We have to find Andrew, Gerard. We have to find him. We have to find him. We have to find this man. But if, you know, when they saw the wife, boy, if, if you all have pictures of Andrew, could somebody send it to me on WhatsApp? Send it to me on WhatsApp, please, 2944081. And I'm sure, I'm sure Vanna would have had pictures no, not Van. I would have had pictures of her uncle and whatnot in happier times. But we need to find him. We need to find him. You know? So you see the red car still there? So that's the horror house you're seeing there.
So it's a big family compound, and there are two dwellings. Now, with the, with the video that the entire clip that we put on, the entire clip that we put on, I spoke about the two houses, right, on the 22 minutes clip. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. So, ladies and gentlemen, you really understand it now. So, so the girl that drunk is not the daughter of the suspect. She is the she is the daughter of the owner of the house. She, she lived there. James James Gerard Gerard. The one who's at, currently at Sentence Mental Institution, that's her father. He lost his wife. He lost his wife and, to, and son, and seven month old son on January the 1st, 1987. You all remember that. That was in, that was in the see police and everybody here. I don't know if anybody's still are even alive from that picture. Right? These are shots with the excavator and the people digging up. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, Mr. Ian Allen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, I'd like to know why the police did not have surveillance on that house to see if anybody was going to come back and remove or the father was going to come back and remove things in that house. Why the police did not have surveillance on that home? Why the, the, he came back there to remove stuff? Well, when he came back, he, he was he was he, he, he was sighted. He was sighted, and as you can see here, but this video is not a today's video. Huh? This is video is not from today. But he got in and he parked the car and whatnot. And this was all during the weekend when the bacchanal started. All right, so we need photograph of him. There, there, there must be a nationwide manhunt for this man. There must be a nationwide manhunt for this man. If he will, and if he's, I'm sure he's watching. Get in contact with me, please, Mr. Man. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live. So, so today I'm sure that, you know, you're, 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 you kind of understand the, the thing now. Understand the whole... I tell a generation curse. Don't play with that, no? Don't play with that. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, caller. Yes. Lincoln Guerra was held for the Wall of Hill murders, was tried for... found guilty and sentenced to hang for the Wall of Hill murders. Lincoln Guerra. Guerra, Lincoln Guerra. He's I remember in prison right that. Now. All right. Very good. Thanks for that information. He was held for the wall of film murder. Right. So you see, I tell, I tell everybody, you see how everybody, boy, I tell everybody watching, you know. So Lincoln Guerra was held for that murder of the mother and the seven-month-old baby. And that is how he was sentenced to hang. I remember that name. My grandmother used to talk about that. And then after after losing, after losing, after losing the wife, his, his wife and son, right? Then 1987, tragedy hit him again. Tragedy hit him again in 26, 2022, Wednesday 26, when Vanna, James' daughter, Vanna Gerard was discovered at a beach in Annasville in Tobago. She left everything and just walked into the sea. They said she walked in straight into the sea. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Ian Allen. Good afternoon. So we're going back Lincoln to the house. Lincoln Gerard and Glenn Ashby was charged for that woman Dentally. and the little child. Uh -huh. They hung Glenn Ashby. And that matter needs to be opened back up because that man seems like he's a terror. Thank you very much, sir. But remember, hold on. You're going to listen to me? 
Now, let me tell you about that story with that Glenn Ashby. Eh? When, listen to me, it had a murder in, 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 in West Morin. Listen, eh? it had a murder in West Morin, a home invasion. I don't want to go back to that and call people names and things. But people were murdered, persons were murdered and assaulted and whatnot. And the Prime Minister, they said that, he, they, they, that they just took up Glenn Ashby just so, and they hung him, you know? Yeah? And everybody, I mean, people were outraged by Patrick Manning's decision, the then Prime Minister, the late Patrick Manning's decision to, clean, to kill, to uh, hang, to execute um, Glenn Ashby. Yeah? Because they thought that he just wanted to send us, you know, to tell the people in the West that we care about crime. Are we taking it seriously? And they just take up Glenn Ashby just so, and he, he you know, he, they, they executed him. Yeah, everybody know that. But he was sentenced to hang, so it was, it was nothing wrong that he did. He was sentenced to hang. People who sentenced to hang should be hanging by now, once they have exhausted all their legal options. That is the law. The law is if you drive drunk, you're getting charged. If you're sentenced to hang and you have no other options, well then go ahead. I don't see where's the key back. I don't see what is the key back. So we are over here in it on national television today. And everybody's locked on. I call a good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello? 6714062. So I'm just giving you different shots. If you can take me back. If you can take me back, director. To the um, by the wire, that'll be great. To the back of the house. When I was at the by close to the electric fence there. I wasn't going to check it to see if. Hi, caller. Yes, good afternoon, sir. Concerning the Lincoln Gary and Glenn Ashby, the, that guy always claims his innocence, say that is the husband that killed the wife and child. So it needs to be investigated, and you need to look into that. Well, that's another brother, yeah? That's another brother. Yeah, so, but, but you remember, Lincoln and never say anything. He said he didn't do nothing. Like James, the brother, the one who sentenced right now. But the girl, the girl, Hannah Matura, Hannah Matura, remains, was found at the house. Her father has gone missing. He ran off his relative, immediate relative of Hannah went to police and confessed and brought police to the house because they were fed up of the man. Hi, caller. Good evening. Your life Hello, on Crime good evening. Watch. Go ahead. Call from Beach here. Yeah? Pardon me? Call from the Beach District. Beach, what going on? Yeah, everything all right for now. Watching that on the TV, the, 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 that's a real horror house. Yeah. That is the correct name for it. Horror house. Our house, that's right. There's that sad thing though in Wheel Island. Yeah. Go on notice for her. Maybe we say ten years. A couple of years well. Why don't you go get to the way you reach to the end of it? Yeah, well, it's just to get the, 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 the father, the man who's yeah. at large right now, and we need photographs of him. Right. Um, yeah, could we'll you both put up? Don't post that 22 minutes as yet. Post the videos and them. Post the videos. Yeah, pause the, pause the video, pause this video, and ask people to send photos of the man for me, of the father, please. On a CG, please. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. So we need photo, photos of Anna Matura, father, and a photo... I just want to make something mention that the two brothers have two different surnames, right? Yeah. Two brothers have two okay. different surnames.
yesterday was also the funeral for the two-month old owner that died. So we're looking for um, Hannah's father. Andrew Matura. Persons will send, they will send. Any proper pictures? Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. It asks a lot of questions too, you know. A lot, a lot of questions, you know. How long James in hospital, James um, in sentence? What year his, what, what year his daughter died? 2022? Okay. And 2022, he was on the scene of that, of, of that incident. 2022, he was on the scene of that incident. That's another, that's, a, that's another angle, too, that you can watch. But nevertheless, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, the relative of Hannah Matura went to police, in fact, her, her immediate relative, and they told the police where they could find the body of their sister and Who's responsible? And apparently, the father of Hannah has gone into hiding. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. 671-4062. So this has been a very, very interesting show today. Very, very interesting show. In five minutes, in three minutes, we'll be over. Remember, you could WhatsApp me on 294-4081. These are just different angles from the back of the house and whatnot that we took. Andrew is James' brother-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew was married to James' sister. Yeah, his wife, his wife, his wife is Alana. That is how James owned the house, that he brother-in-law. 
Right? So you understand tonight? Yeah. Andrew. Andrew, right? Who is at large. And the man who owned the house, who daughter John in Annasville and was murdered. And currently in sentence, that is his brother-in-law. Andrew married. Andrew married. He married this man's sister. Alana. The mother of the nine children. So nine or eight. So that makes, at least you're understanding what's going on. And these are information coming to us. But we have to find the man. Now we have all kind of pity up, punching up with Andrew Girard and whatnot. You just can't post up people pictures just like that. Yeah? Andrew Matura. Yeah, I'll be real careful with that. This is a very sensitive, sensitive situation. Very, very sensitive. So we need to find the 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 the. Uh, the The father of Anna Matura. That is the man. Full stop. His children, everybody spoke out. People went to the police station over the weekend. They went with all the board paper and they bring back the police and they say, Enough is enough. You can't keep us prisoner no more. And that's it. Party done. Party done. There is a breaking point. If you have any information, this is the front of the house. So at least you understand what's going on now. I'm showing you there's the front. If you have any information, you might, you might be a neighbor. And you want to send us any information, you could WhatsApp me on 294-4081. You want to go to my website, no username, no password. You can report crime anonymously. If you see Andrew anywhere or looking around the premises, get in contact with me. I found out today that he was there. He was cited there. Nevertheless, police, they had a very strong police presence today looking for him. Very, very strong police presence looking for him. All right, these, these people need justice. These children need help. I heard that one of the, in fact, one of the children attending school and whatnot. So sad, so, so sad. So sad. And that is why the bigger picture that you have to keep your eyes open and pay attention to what's happening next door to you. Don't turn a blind eye. This, is, this happens when you turn a blind eye to the cry of your neighbor. When you hear the voices of abuse and scream, you call the police. You call 999. You go to ianallen.org and report it anonymously. There are so many cases that we have assisted and brought persons to justice with respect to abuse. So ladies and gentlemen, this entire program will be posted on my fan page tonight with no, no, no other video we're going to post so you can understand it well because it makes no sense just showing you the excavator, showing you the shots of the house. We had opened up the line so you understand today. So we're going to hold up a little bit. The boy, the boy that we spoke to in the red jersey, that is Alana's brother. That's the girl who died in Tobago in Annasville. And remember in front of Annasville in Tobago, they had a big Ferris wheel and whatnot. So ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time.
WhatsApp me on 294 if you have new information, whatever information that you might have. It was a very interesting show. Those of you who want to get your ads onto Crime Watch, as, as you can see, everybody's watching. The analytics don't lie. What's up, what's us, uh, what's up me on 294 My advertising department will call you tomorrow. We'll create your ad for you and get you on board. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. I'll be back tomorrow. Good night.